I want all the doctors rounded up. Search every inch of the medical building. I mean it. Search every room, every office, and every trash can. If another doctor tries to run and get out of the building, then you won't. I'll just flood the room with happy gas and leave you to die. Hell, I may do that anyway. Sounds fun. was one of the easy ones. Why does he need the doctors? I've got to save them. Stand a cry, baby. <laughs> Oh! 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 Oh!
Room's clear. You're safe now. Happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds, and the next, armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Did they have anyone with them? They took someone into the elevator. I couldn't tell who it was. They obviously didn't want to be followed. The elevator appears to have been powered down. You're going to be okay here. We'll be fine. What about the others? We heard gunfire. They could be dead. We should go and help. Oh no, I forgot. Dr. Kellerman was in the patient observation room, and Dr. Chen went to surgery. And Dr. Young went to x-ray. Okay, stay here. I'll find the other doctors. I'm here, Mike. Hold still. I'll get you free. You okay? We're safe. Batman saved us.
patients please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation. Let me introduce you all to the sterling work of our new head of research, Dr. Penelope Gum. Since joining our team two years ago, Arkham is now on the forefront of research into understanding the human mind. Good afternoon, Arkham. Let's talk about the mind. How can such a complex entity be understood and eventually treated when it breaks? How indeed? Project Touchstone goal is to create a test to fully probe our specialty in a safe, risk-free vessel. Our goal is to cure the more unfortunate specimens, the weak, those not physically up to the challenge that are That means some of the bitches' cash. What's wrong with you? Don't you know nothing? Cash had a disagreement with Killer Croc a while back. Croc got free and chowed down on Cash's institutions where they can be taken. Yeah, so if you see a giant monster running at you, just shoot it, or you'll be next on the menu. He's here! Save the doctors. Yeah, sure, boss. He was slowing us down anyway. Don't cry, Cash. You're right where we want you. I'm gonna get him over here. And you're gonna oh, that man. Control the ventilation system in there. Try it. It's a no-go. He disabled remote access. I'll find a way. <sighs> You've got to help us. If you can clear the gas out of the room, the doc and me can get out of here.
let that man die. I have to clear the room of toxin as quickly as possible. him up, gets out and more people die. If I just had one minute alone with that animal. Patient interview 21. Patient's name is Edward Nigma, also known as the Riddler. So, Edward, Warden Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles. May I test you with one? Very well. What is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally three legs? A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. <laughs> Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Give it a crutch, it can hobble around on three. You see? That's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. It's not my baby. Will all patients please is remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation? Our findings have led to debates about whether psychosis is in itself more toxic and whether potentially damaging changes to the brain are related to the length of psychotic episodes. Project Titan allows us to strengthen the individual's ability to cope with such changes. Early results were but it was only after the arrival of Patient X that our expectations were raised. Patient X was the catalyst that led to a full-scale adoption of the Titan process. We must all thank our benefactors for this opportunity. We represent all medical specialties and offer a wide range of medical, surgical, diagnostic, and wellness programs. High quality of care coupled with our...
Batman! Don't speak. You're safe now. But, but it's a trap! I know. Just not for me. <gasps> it's true! You really are the world's greatest detective! How did you do that, Bats? Oh, what the hell? Get down there, boys! See if he can detect the impression in the face! Don't get too full of yourself, Bats. I'm just softening you up. Think of this as a preview to the main event. You'll see. I'm sorry. I tried to tell you. I couldn't speak. Relax, you're safe now. I can handle these low-life thugs. Remember, a happy patient is a quiet patient. Oh, I'm not sure I can keep it a secret any longer. I've got two old friends coming to the party. One of them is just terrified to leave. The other, well, let's just say he's going to be surprised to see you, and you will be to see him. When Amadeus Arthur built this... A challenge completed. Can you do more? Premier Psychiatric Evaluation and Rehabilitation Center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated here. But that is only half the story. Our low security wings offer normal but troubled individuals a safe haven for recovery. We represent all medical specialties and offer a wide range of medical, surgical, diagnostic, and wellness programs. High quality of care, coupled with Arkham Asylum's convenient location, have ensured we are voted the number one facility in the entire state. Times have changed at this establishment. Through our pioneering techniques, we believe that anyone can be cured. Will all patients please remain calm and move slowly to their That's accommodation? Tough, yeah, she can operate on me. Friends on the inside and out. I'm quite aware that this job, as you call it, requires friends. What I want to know is why you chose me. Did Joker specify me? Why don't you let me talk to him? I'm sure we can settle this. Ladies, I have to tell you once more, I am going to hurt you. You understand? Shut the hell up. If the boss wants to talk to you, he'll talk to you. Till then, keep that trap of yours zipped. You can let me go. I won't be any trouble. Listen, we've got a hard carrying this place apart. Joker wants you here. Why are you 
you doing this? Let me speak to Joker. Keep quiet. I'm not sure how much more you're yapping I can take. Someone tell Joker. Too easy. Played you like a violin and cut your strings. Nighty night, bats. Boy, you think I can? Stop your whining and listen good. If anyone goes near you without Joker's express permission, then I've been ordered to make sure you are taken out ASAP. Looks like you're our bargaining chip. You gotta tell you, the boss is all over this job. Planned like a military operation. Friends on the inside and out. I am quite aware that this job, as you call it, requires friends. What I want to know is why you chose me. Did Joker specify me? Why don't you let me talk to him? I'm sure we can settle this. Once more, I am going to hurt you. You understand? I don't know how long. If the boss wants to talk to you, he'll talk to you. Till then, keep that trick. Whoa! Wait, no! What's going on? They were talking like they were in control. Is it true that Joker escaped? Unfortunately, yes. But not for long. I'd been studying Joker's case for months when he broke out. The Warden was very specific he wanted Joker cured. Bad publicity will affect his campaign for mayor. That'll be the least of it. God, I almost forgot. They said they were moving through the facility, hunting down the other doctors. Not a problem. All staff have been rescued. You'll be safer if you remain here. All the medical staff are safe. Time to continue following Harley Quinn and Gordon's trail. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. I've got ringside seats for the big event. Harley's bringing the popcorn. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> will all patients please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation? Welcome to Arkham Asylum. I'm here to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, you would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who have been treated here, but that is only half the story. Our low security wings offer normal but troubled individuals a safe haven for recovery. An extensive breakdown of our costs and healthcare packages can be found at the front desk or at www.arkhamcare. Dot com slash prices. We accept most major HMOs. Our website contains everything you need to know about our facility and how we can help you. Did you know that the children's area on the site can provide you with a detailed but discreet psychiatric profile? Did you find them? Are they okay? Yes, they're safe now. Batman, we've got another problem. I need to get back to the mansion. All my research notes are there. We can't risk Joker getting his hands on them. It's not safe, Doctor. The island's a war zone. You won't stand a chance. It's my life's work. You really don't have the authority to... I'll get her there, Batman. You ask me, it's about time for a little payback. I don't like it, but... Who called the elevator? It wasn't us. It's coming from the lower floor. Cash, take Dr. Young. Get her notes and then find somewhere safe to hold up. Everyone else, go to the observation room. Barricade yourselves in. The boss says he's in here somewhere. Spread out.
I hate hospitals. Always gives me the creeps. Stinker hospitals. What kind of hospital is this? Looks more like a torture room. I'd like to thank my fans for their undying support and the people of Gotham, who I'll be seeing very, very soon. <laughs> Did you find them? The boss says he's in here somewhere, spread out. What hospital is this? Looks more like a torture room.
in a little metal box hanging precariously over a deadly drop. What say I just blow the emergency brakes and drop you like a sack of puppies? Say good night, that's boom! <laughs> Only kidding. Got a few more surprises in store for you. Prepare to face your fears. All of them! <laughs> Sorry, Jim. Barbara. I... I'm sorry. I was too late. I'm sorry. The number you've dialed isn't available. Please leave a message after the tone. Barbara, are you there? Please hang up your phone. Father, you 
should have stood up to him, son. Like a man. Mom? Help us, Bruce. Don't let us die. Are you sure you're all right? 
Have you found my dad? I'm fine. Had a little run-in with Scarecrow. Slowed me down. I'll get back to you in a bit. It wasn't Gordon. Crane's gas must have affected me more than I thought. Are you lost, little bat? Having trouble figuring out what's real and what's just a figment of your twisted little mind? Same here. Just roll with it, bats. It gets easier once you get it. It really does. police commissioner is just through the glass. Take a look. Harley's under strict instructions to kill the old man if any of my guys even think you're in the room. They're patrolling down there. I've told them all you're on the way. So here's the deal. If you can find a way to get to Harley without anyone realizing, I'll give you your next present. Fail, and the old cutter dies. Oh, I may even give you Harley. It looks like you couldn't use a new psychic. He wants the old man kept safe from Batman. Anyone gets near him, and it won't be me carrying the can. No problem. Nothing's getting past me. Batman will be a dead man, and I'll be famous. Whatever. Get over there and keep looking. Now go! Listen up, boys. The commissioner's just dying for one of you to stop the bat freak. Harley offs the old man. I've got a shiny prize for the one who sees him first. <laughs>
me caught, Quinn. Caught and locked up. So what was it that gave it away? The big green glowing question mark? Harley's got the old man up top. He can see the back or anyone else skulking around. He died! He's trying to prove something. I'm not sure I can stop him this time. You'll do it. Batman, listen. We're not alone. He's got something else down there. I don't know what it is. What a blab about! Spoiling the surprise! Be quiet. Oh, am I getting to you? Am I? Good. <laughs> You're going to love this next bit. It wants Dr. Young's login. Never mind that. Get behind me. Now. Bane. I thought he broke out of Blackgate. Cut me down. Who did this to you? Dr. Young, the Bruja. She drained the venom from my blood. Must stop her. Sorry, has Bane. The good doctor won't be a problem much longer. How do you like my puppet? What say we cut him down? <laughs> Oh, 
I will break you this time, Batman! <laughs>
You okay? I'm fine, Jim. Where's Quinn? Gone. Must have gotten loose while Bane was throwing you around. We need to get you off the island. I'm not a rookie. I can handle myself. <laughs> This time, I break you! Jim, get back to the mainland. It's too dangerous here. I don't like leaving you here. Radio claims he's planted bombs all over Gotham. Gotham will panic. You're needed there. We're ready to go now, sir. Bane called Dr. Young Bruja. What does it mean? It's Spanish for witch. <laughs> <laughs> 